What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony here from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 38th Java programming tutorial. So I hope you guys had a good Easter weekend and if you guys don't celebrate Easter, I hope you had a good long weekend. Um, in this tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be expanding off our knowledge of constructors. Now if you guys don't remember what a constructor is, basically what it is, it's just a special type of method that is automatically called whenever you make an object of a class. Now if that didn't make any sense, just go back to my, let me see, 29th tutorial on constructors and uh, I explain it in like full detail so if you guys don't understand what I just said right there go back to the 29th tutorial and watch that. Um, so today we're just going to be teaching you how to use parameters in your constructors. So it's nothing really difficult. We've used parameters in normal methods. It's basically the same thing except when you're making your object you're going to put some values in into your parameters. So um, make sure you have your second class made. Mine's a tomato class as usual. And um, let's make our basic little constructor here. So public tomatoes. And then do your curly braces. And in our constructor, we're just going to be doing a basic little math problem. So we're going to be taking two numbers and um, multiplying them together. And then we're going to be spitting out the answer to the user. So what we're going to do is we're going to take in two values. Now these are going to be two float values because I'm making them float just because maybe the user wants to enter in a decimal number and uh, yeah I'm just going to use float because we don't usually use it. So float num1 and then if we want to have a second parameter we just separate that with a comma and we go float man can't type num2 all right, and then inside our constructor, we're just going to perform a little simple calculation and put that calculation basically in a print statement. So we do everything in one little neat little line. So we're just going to so num1 times num2. And yeah, that's it for this little class right here. So we just made a basic constructor with to uh, parameters and then we're going to print out the product of those numbers and over in here all we have to do is we're going to just make our u2 or our tomatoes sorry tomatoes object so t is equal to new tomatoes and now instead of leaving these parentheses blank we're going to put in um, two numbers so basically we're inputting numbers into our parentheses because we have two parameters that are required in this constructor. So I'm going to put in the numbers 5 and 10. And now, once we run this, we should get 50, if I did everything right. And boom, 50.0, because um, automatically Java, once it sees that you, you inputted, inputted two float numbers, it's going to give you a decimal number back, because a decimal times a decimal is another decimal and that's just how Java does it um, so yeah mess around with uh, multiple parameters in your constructors you could add another one in if you want and um, yeah so that's it for this tutorial if you guys have any questions please message me and uh, comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one